From time to time, you may need to create a chart with lots of tasks and milestones, and then realize that you simply have too much information to fit cleanly on a single page for output. This video will explain how to use OnePager's multi-page features to customize and manipulate your chart layout so that it can be divided into several pages or optimized to fit on a single page layout as necessary. As with many other settings in OnePager, you'll have the most flexibility to configure your chart layout by going to Home and clicking on the Chart Properties button. All of the page layout settings are covered in the Page Layout tab. At the top of the Page Layout tab are the settings that control your document size. This is not to be confused with page size. Document size is the total size of your entire one-pager chart across however many pages it covers. The width of your chart is controlled here. The height of your chart can be controlled two ways. You can either set a fixed height for your overall document or you can specify what the size of each row in your chart should be and let OnePager automatically calculate the height from there. We strongly recommend picking a default row height. This way, as you add and remove tasks from your chart, OnePager will have the ability to increase and decrease your overall document height based on the total number of tasks in your chart. It's important to note that the default row height only controls the height of the rows in the chart. It does not control the height of the tasks or milestones within those rows. So, if you find that your tasks are too big or too small compared to the size of the row that they're in, pop over to the Taskbars or the Milestones tab and adjust your task and milestone height to something that works well relative to your row height. Now that the chart has an overall width and height, we need to determine how it's going to fit on a piece of paper, if you're printing it, or in a PDF or PowerPoint slide if you're exporting instead. The Page Setup section at the bottom dictates the size of each piece of paper that one pager is going to use, and it's important whether you're actually planning to print your chart or just save it to an electronic format. The larger the piece of paper, the more one pager can fit per page. If you are physically printing your one pager chart, be sure to pick a paper size that matches something in your printer tray. If you are exporting to PDF or PowerPoint, you do still want to pick something reasonable, but it does not have to be a real paper size. Now that we have defined the overall document size and the size of the physical or virtual page that will hold the chart when it's exported or printed, we need to tell OnePager how to best fit the chart onto the page. By default, all OnePager charts are configured to be one full page wide and to automatically compute the number of vertical pages based on the size of the chart. This means that your chart will always fit cleanly to one page left to right, but if you have a chart with lots and lots of tasks, one pager will automatically insert page breaks top to bottom that keep things looking nice. Here's an example of a chart with lots of tasks. With the document fitting for height set to automatic, one pager automatically gives us three pages, with the first two pages completely full, and the remaining tasks spilling over onto the third page. On the other hand, if we change the document fitting to one page high, one pager will shrink the entire document down and force fit everything to a single page, without any page breaks. In a lot of cases, this will result in a tall or skinny chart like this, with lots of wasted space on the right hand side. So unless you have an urgent need to fit absolutely everything to a single piece of paper, keep your vertical document fitting set to automatic so that one pager can optimize the pagination of your chart. If you do end up with a chart that has multiple pages, you'll also want to consider which chart elements should appear on the first page and which should appear on all of the subsequent pages. For example, if you want the legend to appear only on certain pages, you can configure that here. For other simpler chart elements like the title and the time axis, you can decide whether they should appear on all pages or just the first page. In this example, you will see that the repeat settings for the legend, title, header, and footer are grayed out and cannot be changed. This is because these specific elements are turned off for the overall chart, so repeating them isn't relevant since they aren't going to appear to begin with. 
On the other hand, this sample chart does have a time axis and some swim lanes, which is why these two checkboxes can be changed to turn repeating on and off. If you ever find that your repeated element settings are disabled, double check to make sure that the element itself is turned on before proceeding. While most of the page layout settings of a one-pager chart are something that you will configure through chart properties, there are a few shortcuts that we've made a little bit more accessible. To get there, click on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon. You'll see that a number of these settings are the same as the ones that we just discussed in Chart Properties. We'll focus on the settings that are unique to the ribbon. The first group you'll see here are the View Modes. The normal view is the default view and is what you're probably used to already. If you want to see where your page breaks are and see a watermark of each separate page number, then switch to the page break view mode. This is still a live editing mode, so you can do everything in this mode that you can do in normal mode. You just have the added visibility into page breaks and page numbers. Print preview mode will show you exactly how your one pager chart will look once it is printed or exported. Note that while we are in print preview mode, some of the editing options are grayed out. To enable these options again, you can flip back to either the normal or the page break modes. If you would like to freeze the time axis at the top or the swim lanes on the left as you scroll through your chart, click on the freeze panes button to freeze vertically, horizontally, or both. This will allow you to maintain a vertical or horizontal reference point as you scroll through your chart for editing. When you're ready to stop scrolling, you can turn frozen panes back off. The Page Breaks button lets you manually insert vertical or horizontal page breaks. Vertical page breaks separate your chart into multiple pages top to bottom, while horizontal page breaks separate your chart into multiple pages left to right. Once you've selected the type of page break to insert, simply move your mouse cursor to where you'd like to insert the page break and left click the mouse button. Page breaks that you created by hand can be removed by returning to the Page Break dropdown and choosing the option to remove all inserted page breaks. If you want to remove all kinds of page breaks, including the ones that one pager might have created automatically, choose the Remove All Page Breaks option instead. This will return your chart to a single page format. Once your chart looks the way you want it and you fit it to the correct number of pages, it's time to export your chart so that it can be shared with your colleagues. To export your chart to PowerPoint, PDF, or an image file, go to the File tab and choose the Export option. Here, you'll see different file formats that OnePager supports for exporting. Pay special attention to the Page Range options. If you have a multi-page document, you will want to choose the All Pages option in most cases. This will honor your page breaks in your export format. For example, if you have a three-page chart, one pager will create a three-page PDF or a three-slide PowerPoint presentation. If you choose the entire document option, one pager will ignore any page breaks and will place your entire document into a single page PDF or a single page PowerPoint slide. We have a separate video on output that provides more detail on how to convert your one pager chart into PowerPoint slides or save it to a PDF or image file. We recommend watching that video next so that you'll have a good understanding of how to take a multi-page chart and get it to print or export exactly the way that you need it to. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.